looks nicer than it did even then. Now it's built into apartments. They tell me that there's, on the three floors, they're all apartments. I used to come and, and visit uh, Evelyn. She was my age, and uh, she used to like to come and visit me then in Rochester. We visited back and forth. But this was a treat to me because we would go over to Lime Lake and there was a lot of young people around town and we, I, we did different things here than I could do in, in Rochester and she used to like to come to Rochester because that was different for her. So we had a good time together. Evelyn and I used to go on vacations and, and visit me and then we, she had a car and we'd run up to the mountains and different places on vacations. And then there was a, a movie place across there, a movie a theater over there, and there was a lot of young people around. They had, uh, uh, and then of course, as they say, they had the roller skating rink up here on the third floor. And uh, we used to go to, uh, to Lime Lake and um, go dancing and like that with the, young, with the young crowd here. It was just different. Let's, well, this, let's, this, um, this is a pretty lake. Let's, yeah, it is pretty. Very, very pretty lake. And it's lake built up, we had it's lots built up of a lot times. more than it was when we used to come here. It was quite more We used rusty. to come by train down here. We didn't have any automobile. Uh, my father worked on the railroad, and that was half of the fun, getting on the train and having the train ride here. And then don't you remember how we would come down here for uh, uh, vacations? Yes, and Dad, mother, we'd pack a trunk yeah, and come down cool. and by railroad. Yeah, and come on would, the train. The trunk would come down on Kenwood Avenue, and we'd all get our clothes packed in it. So when we came, we would come maybe for a month at a time, and uh, pack that big trunk full of stuff, and away we would come. And uh, we had good times down here. I remember one time when uh, there was a terrible lightning storm, and. Uh, you had you had gone up, hadn't you? Three yeah, Dot, Dot and I, younger. we you were, were younger, you and were. we had left and gone into the cottage. Yeah. And Mother had, had motioned to you and Al to come in, and Al was ready to dive, so he stayed on that diving board. Yeah. And the lightning struck the buckle on his belt of his trunks, and he doubled over and went into the water. But uh, he, you know, then swam and got out of the water. The cottage stood on a little grade and there was trees along there, great big trees. And they had huge roots that stuck out. And so we would, instead of going up the steps, which were built there, it was quicker to go up and take hold of these roots and go up that way. So that's what I chose to do that day. And uh, the bolt of lightning hit the tree. And I had hold of the roots of the tree, so I let go and then fell right backwards. And uh, nothing then serious, only they came down and hauled me up to the cottage and pretty soon I came too. I felt kind of woozy, didn't know where I was or anything for a while, but nothing else, you know. There was three boys that had the cottage right next door to us. And they had their, they were laying down on cots right up in front of the window. Open and they had, window. Yeah, the open window, and they had their feet up on the windowsill. And that bolt of lightning came right along and took the soles off of some of their shoes. Nobody had anything serious, but no, it was an experience no, that I... No bad effects. <laughs> since then, I haven't been great friends with lightning storms. <laughs> I wanted to get in the closet. <laughs> Well, this must be a different bush. Well, I want the Charles Marvin that's over here on this side. And Aunt Ode was um, our father's well, sister. Did... Our father's sister was Aunt She Ode. married a Robley. She married a Robley. Right. Now, um, Father William, his name was William, and her name was Viola. That's it, Ellen. That's it. We, we called her Aunt Ode, but it was Viola. They died the right after uh, right, right after after, each after other. Al was married. That's right. Uh -huh. It's another son. I never yeah, see he died long before we knew. before we were born. 1891. 1891. Yeah. Charles M and his wife Sarah. And his wife Sarah, Sarah. H. Mm-hmm. No, Sarah, Sarah A. Sarah A. His wife. Now wait a minute. She wasn't Sarah A. She was Sarah H. 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 This must be it, Alan. Yeah. Uh -huh. We went down to visit him. 
in uh, when he lived in New York, in New York, he lived in uh, Rye, New York. Well, there's so another must've... Marvin Tito. hunger for that isn't right. That you isn't want to know about the Robley. Our our father, mm -hmm. Alan Bush, uh, had two sisters, Jesse and Aunt, El Aunt Ola. And Aunt Ola married a Robley. And that's why we're taking No pictures. blood relation to us. To but us. She married. But she married a Robley. My father's sister married a Robley. Robley. And they're the ones that live on and the, the farm. homestead. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the homestead. And they, and they live there. In Machias. If we can find it. No, in Elton. Now here's. It was C. Marvin, Kate. It was Charles Marvin. Marvin. So that's another one. I can't read that. Died in 18. Yeah, isn't that a pretty tree, though? Isn't that a pretty how tree? We used was to go to Salamanca, and, and the bigger the monument was, they always talking about a monument. One is bigger than <laughs> one bigger than the other. Well, the monuments are beautiful in here. We wonder what they pay. Well, oh, what yeah. did Avril want to come up and see when she was here? Did she button. find? Oh, button. Oh, we went past the button one. Yeah, well, that's not us. Oh. Ellie, here we are to the big Tilden. Oh my gosh, this uh, must be him. Um, you remember? Oh, them. I remember. You know them. more about them. You tell you tell me about the Tilden. Oh, they were well they known. A, they had a big big place in uh, in uh, Machaya. They owned uh, a store, didn't they? Yeah. They, and, and Elizabeth was, was ran the store. She and her father, and then her father died, and she took the store over. And they lived right back of it. And I can remember when we visited there, that she would take me over to the store. And I'd sit up on one of these big stools back at the counter, and oh, I thought I was made if I we could go over we, there. And we thought we owned that store. Oh, yes, and it was right. more fun. I couldn't wait till Aunt Elizabeth would go over there. She wasn't really an aunt. She was just a friend of my mother's, such a good friend that we uh, we were taught we were taught to call them aunt call because aunt. yeah. And uh, now I don't know where she, she must be buried over here. The Tildrens were really the the big shots in the town, and uh, everybody knew them. And the store that they had carried everything, everything in the store, from now, penny here. candy to furniture, you know, they carried everything. Here's where Elizabeth was That's there. Elizabeth. This was Elizabeth, the one I remember. Yeah. And she died in 1960? Really? Yeah, 50 or 60. I her. Yeah. Oh, I can remember her well. And, and Avril. Avril was named after her. Remember on her? that. Card I have is Avril Adele. Uh, Avril Adele. Uh huh. Yes. She's named after. There was there was some relationship or something with them with the Tildens and um, and Aunt Grace and the Buttons. Yes. The Tildens and the Buttons. Yeah. That's, that's but Earl. He died long before Aunt Elizabeth. He's just farther away from it. Yes, all my life. All your life. Do you ever know of the Tildens? Yeah, I knew uh, Elizabeth Tilden. Yeah, Elizabeth. And Adele was her mother. Yes. Yeah. And, and uh, Shirley, she had a sister Shirley, and uh, Earl, and a whole bunch of them. We found their graves. Yeah. Now, tell us, this is an old picture my um, of the Main Street. Now, what, what, do you remember what these buildings are? Do you remember a barber shop that was in here? Yeah, Dalton Holtz had a barber shop in there. Do you remember French? Carl French? No, no. I'm only 65, and too bad my mother ain't alive. Yeah. Could, uh, well, you know, I'm 82, so yeah. uh, this is would be. Um, my mother. Our, our our mother and father were trying to trace it back here. Oh, yeah. See, they lived in, in here, and we have a picture of them. And he ran a barber shop here, yeah, and no. they lived up over it. Yeah. And I have a picture of the stairs going up from there, and the whole family standing on those stairs. Yeah. On the corner, it's a brick building. Was that the store? I yes, don't remember. Yeah, that yes. was the store. Or the surplus store is now. Yeah, or the surplus store. That was their yes. store. Yes. yes. That was and there. I can remember okay. going over there with Elizabeth. Yeah. When she ran, we used to run the store for with her father. Yes. Yeah. And now, um, was this? Was this? Then was their taken house was the right trash. back of it. Yes. Yes, it was. But has that house been made over? Something done to it? As I remember that house, it was big and beautiful with porches all around it. I maybe have made, been made over some, I don't know, but I, I don't think very much. See, when you're a child, maybe yeah, some things right, look beautiful right. and big to you, and 
it doesn't look quite right. like it used to to me then. Yeah. But we used to go out the back door and walk over to the the store. Yeah. And she'd unlock yeah. and Gwen and they had everything you could think of. Yeah. And I was mm -hmm. made if I could go and sit on a stool and work with her in that work store. With her in <laughs> that store. Yeah. 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 You're going to be on video. I am. The I talking am. and the picture. Now, what and is your name? Uh, Billy Whitney. Whitney. Yeah. Billy Whitney. Were you any relation to the Whitneys of the uh, Alice Whitney of uh, wasn't and it? Yeah, she was my step grandmother. Alice Whitney and uh, Irving. Is she married Irving. Irving. Irving was Irving? my grandfather. Yes, that Irving was her Whitney. second marriage. She married Persons first. Persons yeah. first. Person. Claude well, Persons. Yeah, there was still another fellow in there Whitney. too that she married. Now wait a minute. Alice Whitney married Claude Persons. Yes. And then she married a day. Married a day. Yeah. Right. And then she and married then a Whitney. And then she married Whitney was the last one. Whitney was the last one. Yeah. Yeah. Now was he the one that had that she was to Florida with when he died? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're valuable to us. <laughs> yes, you're well, helping us out. It uh, helps Thank us you. think that our memory hasn't slipped us entirely. <laughs> now, you must still live around here. Yeah. Uh -huh. And what did you say your name was? Whitney. 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 Yeah, yeah, Whitney. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. she, my mother, she died just this spring. She was 86. She don't love talking to oh, people. Yeah. She knew oh, that. Yeah. She The Tilden's old um, store, and it's all been made over, and it doesn't look anything like it used to be because it got that extra building on it and the new front and everything. And they were the really the the big shots here in Machias. That's somewhere. Well, where did we say somewhere? We saw those. The barber shop is downstairs, and they've been That's around behind, and I thought it was on the side. Okay, then let's go down there. And I do the not side. remember it. This, this, is, this is a picture. Yeah, building. <laughs> Listen, but listen, she won't have to turn around if we're up there. Okay. Well, aren't we going Why straight? Why don't you talk about the stairs? Well, when my grandfather, I am positive this is the building that he had a barber shop in downstairs, and the family lived upstairs. And the picture that I have that you will see is the family on the stairs. The French come, family. The French family, yeah. And uh, coming down these stairs. Now this was when my grandmother and grandfather were still alive, but that was a long time ago and the building doesn't look like it did then. It, it, to me it's a much bigger building, but you know it could have been part of, a a part of another building, yeah. yeah. Because it was a barber shop downstairs and the living quarters upstairs. This is the corner where the barber shop was. Yeah. The corner in the Church and, and there was uh, right there. Uncle right Will there. would come out and uh, have the rig ready. Uh, we'd get onto that horse block and get into the rig, right. and they drive down here to church. Mm -hmm. But it was and then they then there was room all around then to park the the horse the buggies you know that they came to right. church in. And this um, but this this part is all new. They've added on to it. But has it been kept up nice? Yes, huh? it's been beautiful? kept up real yeah. nice. And you draw your well, horse. There's many more people living out sure. here, Shirley. And you, you Kelly, they drive your to. horse and buggy up, and, and, uh, and then they have the work? then they'd hitch up the horses back there. There was no houses around here. The no. church set right by itself. I don't think that no. house, that little house is they newer. See, to, that wasn't over they there had then. They to enlarge it. This looks so familiar, Allie. Oh, sure. 
and of, of stepping where you used to love to come up here and play. Yeah, here's and where here's where they pitched the rig until we got started. But I, what I used to love to do was to come out here and, and play dolls. I'd sit on this thing with my dolls, and oh, I just think that I had, it was like a house, I guess. I don't know what I thought, but I just love this horse block. And this is where we pull up and and we get into the carriage to go to church on Sunday or to go any place that we were going. And that house is just it's been made over, so I would not it believe was, it was the same house. You I could go from believe. one one house into another without coming outside. Remember, there was yeah, a was little a double, a yeah. double house and, and, a, had a, and a, a front parlor. My father, Alan Bush, lived in this house when he was a boy, and he married uh, my mother, and she lived in Machias, and they moved to Rochester. Well, my father didn't like farming, so uh, his sister. And Ola. Married, she married a farmer. It was a pig pen and, and, and oh, stuff. Yes. But these nice red buildings. But the barn was down here. And that's then we still there. Go Look from at, the barn over to the railroad track. Yeah. See, the B&O Railroad ran right across there. And we could, we used to come out on the railroad, on the train. And yeah. Uncle Will would bring the rig down because we had a lot of luggage and everything. And drive us up just this little ways up to the mm -hmm. house. Yeah. And then when we were out here, then every time... And he was the uh, he was the train um, master they called him. What is it up there? We Kate. always brought home kittens. I don't when we come home, you go up in that they... barn. You could always find cute little kittens. We bring there used home to be a, a train a station down there, and he was the station master. And so he would tell us whenever there was a train coming, and we would go out with pennies and put pennies on the track, and then get them when they had been. Flattened, squashed up, flattened and we put pins on and yeah. cross them, and they'd make scissors, you know, yeah, we think they did anyway. <laughs> You're curious? Oh, never. <laughs> <laughs> My father used to live in this house, in when, Robley's, when it was Robley's. Robley's. 80, 1980. 80, excuse me, yeah, yeah. 1980. Sam died. We built a house down the road here, and uh, when she passed away, we bought it from the family. Did she, did she live, she lived here alone or did, yep. she, was she, she sick or? for years. She died lived over here alone. Yeah. Did she I, die in this house? We, or did she, yep. do you know that? Well, didn't she have a sister, a strong, uh, yeah. uh, the, uh, the, the Lila. Ruben. She, Lila. Lila. She Ruben. lived in, uh, Lila down the Ruben. dead end road here. And now she never uh, lived with her sister then? Her nope. sister didn't sister come Sister didn't, no, she lived alone She died, what, six weeks apart? Who, who, Lila? Uh, her Lila. sister? Uh, Lila, the two Is sisters. Is that right? Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Robley died of not two, you know, about both two weeks of each yeah, other. Yeah, two weeks of each other. Nineteen, was it fifty-nine? Oh, oh, Lila. Uh, uh, no, no, Lila. no. I'm Ola. thinking of the uh, Ola, La, uh, Vi Viola, Viola Robley. Lila played the piano or, or yep. organ or something. In the, in the so did Luella. She used to play the yeah. piano. She yeah. had one well, short. Luella arm. had one. We still have her piano. Do you really? Yep. They Do didn't you? want to move that out. It was so darn heavy when the. Yeah. They took everything out of the house, so he says we keep it. Well, you've made it very attractive. Well, I'm glad you left the old horse block there. <laughs> I can remember playing well, now, on you it. don't own this place, though. So. My father lives there. Oh, your father lives there, so he lives over here. But I can remember thinking that that was a good place I'd play on that when I came yeah. on the horse block. Yeah. 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 You know, the house went up for sale. And, you know, we didn't want a townspeople or somebody coming in, so we bought it. It was hard for my wife and I to move out of a brand new house into this, but I wouldn't pass it up for the world. You know? yeah. There was, you know, they never had any kids or no. the no. house was no. just immaculate. Oh, I, oh she was it. immaculate, it was, yes. So we put the addition on to hold more cows on. I remember we used to get up early in the morning and ride with Uncle Will in the milk cans and ride yeah. in. I don't know where he took right. the milk, but we rode with him. Yeah. That's the old milk plant. That was the year that we bought it. Oh my heavens. I get a kick out of showing people the trees out in front of Sam's house here. Look how they've grown. Yeah. Yeah. Well then, is, this is the house here. It doesn't show that too good, does it? No, right here's Sam's house. No, but I mean the old, this house. The farmhouse. Right here. Right here. Oh, up here. Right here, Ellie. Here's your farm. Oh, yeah, here. yeah. This is their house. There's the farmhouse. And then this is the, the field across here. Can you oh. get the picture? Are you getting the picture? 
Yeah. It's my grandson. He's he, doing. He, he does wants video. to do the video. The talking now. When they got cars, they they put in their own gas pump, so they could pump. They had a, somebody come and fill up the tank, and it was their own. Right out. In that slick. I used to think that was pretty nice to have yeah, a gas pump right in your own yard. Right your own and Uncle Will would say, sure, around. you can come out here and stay. And we'd go home and te come out here then and tease my mother. Oh, we, Uncle Will said we could come out here and stay. Well, what are you going to sleep on? Oh, well, we don't care. Anything to get under that old house. We wanted to get here at the farm. <laughs> it was, it was, and we had scraped and fed before they got here. And there was still a little aroma around here. And one kid, they're all going around here like this. He says, oh, I'm not going to drink milk. And I says, well, put water on your cereal then, see how you like it. <laughs> <laughs> they got a kick out of it. Yeah. And you used to think, oh, I'm starting to smoke. Yeah. You got it all. Oh, OK, it. here I come. <laughs> oh, here comes Shirley. And she's got on the wedding dress. It was mother's, mother's old wedding dress. Look at these little it even It even looks nice on you. Isn't that it comes pretty, out. though? Yes. And that's been in the trunk stain. all these years, all these years yeah. and we got it out and washed it yeah. and hung it up and, and tried to get out any little spots in it. Grandma this. sold this herself. Mm -hmm. She uh, was a dressmaker and, and actually put all those little hand stitched everything, I guess. Yeah, she was a dressmaker. Yeah. <laughs> but there's a piece missing, we can tell from the picture. There's a lot there's of work. There's a piece missing, that. but. This is it from the 18, what, She was married 1903. And in those days, they must have worn black, black nothing but black stockings. Black stockings Imagine with the wedding dress. A <laughs> lace and la and set in there. A lace yeah. and set in yeah. the stocking. Beautiful. It looks Isn't like it, I was the same height as Grandma. Isn't it nice that she kept it and that we found it and, yeah. and uh, that Shirley can and model it, it for us? And that it held together while you washed yes, it. Yes. Yes, some of these things were Grandma's. This lamp was hers, not at the time she was married or anything, but it was given to her by her children. It was always in our house on Kenwood Avenue. Yeah. Over there. And this yeah. marble top table. This also. table is beautiful. And of course, it was an oil lamp. Mother had it rewired, so it's electric. Ellen, stand up and show off the needlepoint chair. Get up. <laughs> now, which grandma was that that was dead in the cemetery? Both of them. <laughs> grandma. <laughs> No, Grandma Bush. Grandma Bush. All of them, Nan. It was her table. Yeah. In the picture, it looks bigger. I mean, she looks smaller. Yeah. Well, they certainly are not going to want them much longer. Well, I don't. You're recording all this? I should have won. You're the one that should have won. Well, I'm what I'm saying is, I'm, I'm doing the video, and I'm putting on that what I what we all think is important and is nice, and that's that. Right? Yeah. We're using all this stuff. Yeah. Well. What's the use of a, a family history without a family argument, though? Well, see... I don't, I don't think we have an argument here. Well, why did you act like you did? Wait a minute. I got accused of the fact that I was going to steal something, and I shouldn't react? Uh, no. She didn't accuse you of so many words. You weren't there yesterday when this whole thing started, when, I, when we said yesterday what was going to happen, and it was there were innuendos then. I'm not mad. I just don't want to be accused. I know that Aunt Jewel lived upstairs in this house, eight summits, and Minnie and Ray lived downstairs. And we used to come here and, and visit. Now, Aunt Jewel was my grandmother's sister. The house looks different than I remember, but that's it. One thing I can remember about the house, she had um, beaded drapes between the two rooms, between the living room and the dining room. You know, they were drapes with big beads. But as I remember, that house was just, I thought it was a mansion almost.
Hi. Hi. My uncle had a place of business right around here on Main Street, up on Main Street. And then Grandma's other sister, Aunt Ella, she lived over on uh, Church Street. And uh, if, if, is this Main Street up here? My Uncle John used to live there on Main Street too. That was my mother's brother. And he used to have, he worked here too in, in uh, Salamanca. And uh, uh, we used to go there and visit. Neither one of these people had any children. So when we came to visit, why, uh, you know, they made quite a bit of us because uh, it was something different around. They liked to have us come and visit them. Now, right along in here, someplace between these buildings, all right, was where Uncle Gail had his place of business. And my aunt then, an uncle, another aunt and uncle, lived upstairs over that. I, I imagine it was right about in this middle one here. And uh, it looked out in the back of their uh, apartment that was upstairs, looked out over the river. See the river over there? And I w remember we could see the river. Well, when they had a, a carnival there, they used to have a carnival. And of course that was a big thing to go to then when we were here, when they'd have a carnival because it'd be right out in their backyard, you know, really, where they lived. Because they lived right up here in the front. Now he was the, he was the husband of the, uh, the um, where we just took the brick house, the picture of the brick house. And his wife was uh, was Aunt Julia, my great aunt. That was my grandmother's sister. You see, it wouldn't be that far. We could walk over here. We'd walk over the river. Of course, it wasn't nice like this then. It was a big rickety old thing that we'd walk over, the Allegheny River. And uh, then we could walk over. It would be possible to walk to her house, wouldn't it? on Summit Street where we just came from. Also, there was a, the movie, the, the movie theater was right down in here too. And uh, a friend of my aunt's used to own that movie theater. Their name was Melonbeck. And so we used to, they used to let us go in, you know, to the shows there. I ever did. And, uh, but now, I don't know which one of those buildings it was. Hers could have been farther up here, too. Now if we can find Church Street, that's where the, my other aunt lived. And the ice cream parlor was right along in here, too. Because I remember every time that we see my Uncle Gail, he'd come along and give us the money to go and get ice cream, get an ice cream cone, great big ice cream cones that they dip out. <laughs> you know. See where it says on there, it says B&O, and then the BRMP, 1912. Well, my father worked a bit here for the BR, when he was for the BRMP. And this is when we come from Rochester. This is where the trains used to come when we come to visit here. We get off at this train station. Isn't it a pretty station? And those brick, the bricks in there is what I can remember so plain of coming up here to all these brick sidewalks. I wonder if it's a restaurant to get cables out here. I think it was fun to get out on the back, you know, and wave our hands. This is just like it used to be? No. These are more modern, I think. Or no, maybe I rode one that was more modern. 
Oh no, that's all right. Because we used to always, I, we always used to want two of them coming together because there would be a mother and two or three kids, you know, that were with her. So we always would want this here and then we could have our lunch. We always brought a lunch because it was three hours from Rochester to Salomon. <laughs> Imagine three hours in the train. We'd pack a lunch and, you know, the first thing we want to get on the train is start to eat. But I don't remember so much of the seats being divided. It seems to me they were all one. This is a little bit kind of modern from what? Now this was formerly Church Street. This was where Aunt Elle lived. But it's gone, the street, all the houses have gone. But this is where that she used to live. And uh, that's all I can say. And we used to come from, from the train station, which was right over there, and walk over to her house. There was a picture of it with her standing on the front porch. You know what? I got her picture on the front porch of that house. But the street is gone, the house is gone, and it's all built up to uh, stores. But I think she lived right right about in here, Dennis, because there's a, there's a side street, isn't it? 